was driving home today and to be honest, it has just been a really tough day for me. I've had a very heavy heart the last few months. Um, I've had a very significant loss in my family and it's really been very, very hard to process what has happened. And today it's really been hitting me hard and I was driving home and it's just like emotion just took over me. I just felt like I just, I was just lost, like not even knowing how to even process everything. And it really got me thinking. It's like, we have no idea what people are going through. You know, I'm driving. No one really knows what's going on with my life. And every person I pass also is probably going through something, some kind of struggle of their own. And we don't know what those struggles are. And every person we encounter has something going on in their life. And we don't know. And it really made me think it's like, we don't know what people are going through. And again, it can be those really hard things like what I'm going through right now, or it can even be the most joyful things. And I remember, so I just celebrated the first birthday of my youngest son. And I remember the day we drove him home. And I remember the day we drove my older son home. And it was one of the most exciting days to like bring our new baby home. And I remember having that thought too, like, you know, everybody else is just kind of going about their business in our minds. But like, here we are having this like really special moment in our car, bringing our son home for the first time. And then again, our second son for the first time. And it's like all these people that pass you on the road, you have no idea what is going on in their mind and their life. And it just really makes you realize how connected we are. We're all going through things and we don't even realize what people are going through. And one thing that really the message I want to share today is that it's been something that I've had to learn in my journey and by no means am I perfect at it, but it has been a huge game changer for me in moving forward is self-compassion and compassion for other people. And the more I've gone through my life, the more I realize like we just have to be compassionate for people. We don't know what people are going through. We don't know the struggles they've gone through. We don't know what's going through their head. We don't know what kind of day they're having. And it's really feels like it's something we've lost is that compassion. It's like the need to be productive and the need to constantly do everything we're supposed to be doing has taken such a pedestal to everything else that really does require and deserve more energy be given to it. And compassion is one of those things. And it's, it's like, there's that constant pressure, like it needs to get done now, it needs to get done now. And, you know, there's no, there's no wavering in that. And it feels really like you're on a treadmill that you just can't keep up with. And when we start to have compassion for ourselves and others, it allows us just to take a step back. Like we're human. We're trying to get through this life. We're trying to make the best of what we have going on. We're trying to process things. We're all, we all have things going on in our lives. And if we can just take a step back and just show each other just a little bit more compassion and show ourselves a little bit more compassion, I truly believe our lives will expand, evolve, and open up and not feel so suffocating like we may be feeling right now. And when I got home, I, from doing my one job today and then to work on my business, you know, I get home and I usually like get right to it. Like I start working and get right to it because I have so much time before my kids come home. And today, like I said, it was one of those days I just really was having a really hard time. And it was one of those moments, like I needed to take a step back. Like, how can I show myself compassion in this moment? Like I used to think it was a badge of honor to basically ignore my needs and just produce and be productive and cross things off the checklist and say like, look what I can do, even though I'm feeling like this, but that never served me. And it took me years to realize that didn't serve me. There is no badge of honor in suppressing what our needs are and ignoring them in the name of getting things done and crossing things off our list and feeling productive at the end of the day. And so what the way I showed myself compassion today was just going for a walk. It's a beautiful day here. It's sunny. And I had plenty of things on my list to get done. I always have a lot of things to get done, but I took just 20 minutes for myself to walk down the street and back 
with nothing, no phone, no headphones, nothing. I just completely disconnected. And it, the way before I went, the way I was feeling was feeling like I was a, a ball of knots, like just feeling really heavy, very, feeling very like suffocated by everything that I'm trying to process in my head. And when I got home, I just, it, it was a different feeling. Like, even though it's still that, like, I just had clarity. Like I, I felt a connectedness. I felt like lighter that the thoughts were not consuming me. And it was such a beautiful moment just to give myself that ounce of compassion, that, that little bit of time, just to say like, it's okay. Like give yourself a moment. You need to process this. It, it, this is more important. You're more important. Your heart is more important. Your energy is more important than anything I could have crossed off that list today. And so I wanted to share this message because we're all going through things. And if you're listening to this and you feel like you're going through something really tough, ask yourself, are you showing yourself compassion? And it compassion takes on many forms. It can be taking just a quiet moment to sit on the edge of the bed and just be with yourself. It can be a walk. It can be journaling. It can be reading. It can be doing some breath work for five minutes. It can be a lot of different things. So whatever compassion means to you for yourself, start showing yourself that compassion because it makes all the difference. And once we start showing ourselves compassion, we start to see how everybody needs a little bit of compassion. We all need to be compassionate with each other, more patient, more patient with each other and realize that when the cars are passing us on the street, like we don't know what people are going through. And if we can just be a little bit more patient, less reactive and realize that we're all in this together, we're all connected. And we, if we can start showing ourselves and other others compassion, we can foster this energy of, of healing rather than feeling like we're, we're stuck in a place that just is suffocating and keeping us down and putting us in a box where we don't want to be. So I felt compelled to share that message today. When I was going out for the walk, I, I knew I wanted to record this podcast, but I didn't know what I wanted to say. And sometimes I pull from higher powers and say like, what, what's the message that needs to come out? And and that's what I asked before I went for that walk. And this is what came into my head by the time I returned. So I felt compelled to share this with you. And I really hope it serves you to get you through your day, make it a little bit easier, and maybe make someone else's day a little bit easier by showing them compassion. So take care and take care of yourself. Mm -hmm.